welcome back to this training so i will be doing text effect in this particular part of the training so this background is actually a background i created using only images let's just say okay it's quite much anyway one two three four five six but anyway i was just trying to i was just playing with pixel lab i just stumbled across it but we're not working on background now so we're just using the text okay let's just edit it first let me use its its a new month okay so i'll just make it aligned to the center i'll increase the size then i'll just come here change the font then now let me use let me use obelix obelix is actually a font i downloaded so you can actually use any font of your choice i just decided to use obelix now if you're not using the pix same pixel lab i'm using probably using the back the black one i had that one installed on my so it is obelix is somewhere around here so just look for it somewhere there but mine is not a default let me just see i think it should be default font Obelix, oh, it's Godini. Uh, oh, I can't locate Obelix, so so just actually use any font of your choice for this your design. So then the next thing I'll be coming, I'll be coming to my padding. I've increased the padding by okay. Let me give them six each. Okay, so it's it's yeah. I think I'm I'm okay with this. So okay, the the next thing is let me increase the line space in a bit. Let me give it five. All right. So I've given this five. I will just come here. No, no, not this. Relative size. Make sure it's at the center. So the next thing is I'll be coming, I'll be adding stroke to it. Okay, let me just add stroke. Let me make it two. Okay, let me give it a color. So by now I should have known how to use color X code. So it'll be E zero E sorry zero e zero there's nothing like o number o in next code it is zero so I'll press on this check icon then i'll click on ok then okay so that's my stroke to it will be coming to my color here i'll click on the gradient actually i think this is what i'm looking for this guy so what is going to happen is you just click on any one you come here click on it so just on the first one this first one they click on this paint bucket then you click on the pencil so you just input this f f f f f f as a color code then you get something like this then after you've done that you come to this one you click on the paint bucket so you can actually just choose any of the color gradient and edit it so you come to this paint this pencil icon you input it six c seven c c six then you now press this check icon so it's going to give you this color you just click ok then so you can actually choose any click on any gradient click on any gradient all you just need to do is just come here and edit 
first time is FFF. Alright, which is white. Okay, the second one is C. C. 7. C. 8. 6. 6. Actually, C. 6. Alright, so this is practically what I wanted. C6. Alright, so I'll just click on this. Okay. Alright, so this is it. Then I'll click on this check button. So the next thing is I'll be coming to shadow. Then I'll reduce my blur radius to about let's see. Okay, 50. 50 is okay. Then blow to about two. My offset y to minus three. Six. Okay, so the next thing is three D text. I'll enable it. Go to oblique. Give it a depth of one. Darken. 30 it's in oblique not perspective auto so I'll make this one about 200 and okay 225 so I light angle okay let's just leave it here okay so we'll leave the remaining one like this so we just need to do just come here make sure it's at the center then i'll copy it still make sure it's at the center so the next thing i'll be doing is i'll just click on my check button here come to the color i'll be making use of this particular color come to, which is come to here click on this the paint buckets i click on this first one here make sure it is at this place click on this so you can just try different options of the grid the gradient but this is the particular one i'm making use of so this first one you come here use the the color code just insert it so come to the second one come to the pencil so this is this color code so you can insert it so this is practically what i wanted so the next thing i'll be doing is the padding is even already so i'll be making this bold okay it's actually reflecting i think global because of the font i'm using most fonts once we've actually applied bold to em it is bold already it won't be showing the effect so the next thing i'll be adding i'll be adding stroke to it stroke of about 12 okay now to the uh, so the stroke of this one stroke is 12 the stroke of this one we're still making use of gradients see this same color we use for our gradients we'll click on it okay so the shadow come to the shadow we will increase this to about 70 then the blur radius should be about 5 okay let me reduce this one to 3 okay so the next thing is 3d text the depth is 
okay you can just use it evenly make sure it is in oblique let me use of just three I guess I can just let me make this one let me just maintain with everything I'm having here so that's one of my problem with this 3d it misbehaves like this so the next thing i'll just come here put this one on top make sure it's at the center okay i didn't click on the first one okay so now just come here the second one okay see i'm now moving it evenly so you can see it is already on my text now in, at times when you're actually doing design you can use it as an headline so now that we've done this one so you can just come here it is actually now you can see there are two texts we'll come and save this style so uh, eventually you want to make use of a design and you want to use this one as your headline for your headline so you just come here and just click on the first one let's click on this first one come to style then you click on save then you once you save, you click on ok to save then you come to this other one come to this other one here the second one you go on to you click go to style and you click on save then you click on ok so once you've done it it's going to save automatically so that settles that so and once it has saved so you want for you want to locate it all you just need to do is just to come to browse it is style come to this alphabet style you see browse then you come to my style so these are the styles that i've saved so so this is the one we, and this is okay you know let me just minimize this let me bring in a new text a different text for the sake of just this thing that i want to do then i guess let me just change the font to okay let me just use modia okay so let me copy this so then i'll come now click on this one come to oh sorry come to styles into to browse no i'm sorry this is not actually what it was a mistake so click on this one there was something i i forgot to do i was supposed to increase this one by by one yeah so when you're trying to do your own just increase this the this one by one let's just increase the size by one so this one you come here come to styles come to browse then come to these styles in, in this one here okay so so this is practically so you just come here make sure it's at the center then you just come to this guy then you just be adjusting evenly adjusting evenly to your tastes actually i'm not liking the way the shadow is here it is like it's far so okay maybe it's probably because of the text i'm using oh that is it because of the text I'm using, because of the text I'm using, that's why. Did I also make this one bold? Alright, so more or less, this is how you browse sample. Uh, it's actually because of the font. I can just come here and adjust it. It's not that you just have to make use of my own style. Okay, so so you just have to adjust it. Uh, all I want is just that black tip to be showing a little bit. It's always just, just too much. I think this I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm okay with this guy. So this is practically one way you can actually do this. Oh no. 
so this other guy so this is how we can also just do it so 50 89 size 89 i'm supposed to increase this one just by one let me so that it can actually contain it okay so this is i'm okay by this all right so that's all for this video we'll see in the next one